Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr Sealy P. It's Friday the 25th of September and we have new mods. We also have some updates. The updates today are as follows. From the top left we have an update to the Crossetto pack by DD Mod Passion, the NMC Scarrock pack by North Modding Company, the mower by Concy, user B4D, the Amazon D... Uh, D860 by Matthew FS, the Lizard Rumble Van by DD Mod Passion. We're going to come back to that in a little while. Grain Storage and Grain Storage by Nismo, uh, the Grain Silo System by Camelos0397, the Old Garage by Concy, the Placeable Details Pack by Camelos0397. That's had another 10 added, I think that's up to 50 odd things in that pack, 49, something like that. The Chrome Big X series by Kyosho, and the Seasons Geo New York by Maya Family Modding have all had updates today. Okay, one of those updates today is this, and I thought I would, because I think it's fairly important, um, is the Lizard Rumbler Van by DD Mod Passion. Now, one part of this isn't working, but I didn't think it would be, because I think that's more the PC side of things, I think. I could be wrong. But, as you might have seen from the thumbnail, if I get into this one here, and open the back doors. We've got milk churns in there. Oh yes. And if I get into this one, if I start it up, now I don't have to open the door on this, but if I open up the rear door, or if I do uh, L1 and right stick, is it right stick? No, it's that one. <laughs> that side. And R1 and right stick that side. I can open the doors as you normally can. It has. Oh, actually, that one has done tension pots. If I press L3 now. Oh, look. I can now transport seed. I can transport milk. I can transport eggs. I can transport all sorts of stuff in the Lizard Rumbler now. Now, you can put it in before as pallets, but they were a little bit difficult to get in. You could get your one or two in. With a little bit of fiddling around, you could maybe get three in. But that now has allowed for the transportation of seed and other things. We'll have a look at them in the store in just a second. Um, if I close the doors, off I go, and I can close my side doors, etc. And then when I get to where I'm going, I can unload again by doing that. Try forward a bit. Or maybe. There we go. Unload again. Come on. There we go. And I've unloaded again. That's not bad. That's not a bad update, that. Um, so, we'll have a quick look. These you'll find in the store, under vehicles, under cars. So we go to the Rumbler van. We can change the main colour, design colour. Uh, design colour... Yeah, it was on other. So other is your standard Rumbler van with um, tension belts in the back. Now this is the one that I, I still don't think, I, I've done a vehicle workshop one of these, but I think it's only on PC. I could be wrong, I have had a fiddle around, I've tried to go up to other vehicles, I've been all the way around it, and on console I can't get it to work. The, as a vehicle workshop you're supposed to be able to drive out into the field and repair vehicles in the field. I've tried all different configurations, I've tried different buttons, I've tried looking at the options menu. I may have missed something, I could be doing something wrong, but I, I couldn't find how that one works but if I go across another one we can do eggs 7050 litres we can have a milk one that does 2040 wool 2750 big bags 3000 litres tanks that's like your IBCs 4000 litres and then back to other again so depending on which one you choose you can then put wherever you want in the back and away you go now if you go for the um, vehicle workshop one you can have standard you can have it with design one, design two puts lights on the top, design three has lights and all the stuff on the side. But like I say, I, I yeah, it, I just I'm looking now to my right in the mod tab on the website to see if there's a. It's not like a separate mod or something you're supposed to put into the back of it. I, I can't find anything. Um, no, as far as I know, that's it. Because I thought maybe there was a pallet or something yet to pick up that a vehicle works or something. So anyway, but that in itself, that's pretty cool. So if I take my uh, my milk van, I don't know why I did it in class green, I just did. 
the sell point I've got here, I've got to buy anything a silo, or the multi buy silo point. Edge Castiga, and I've got the multi sell one as well. These are mods, uh, placeables, so I can unload my milk. Try it out of the back. Like so. Very cool update, like that a lot. That's very nice indeed. So, the first of our mods, rather than updates today, is the... Well, it says um, German Garages. When you click on the website, it then says Modern um, German Garages. We've got these two in front of us. These are by Daniel X321. Uh, they are 16 slots each. We've got this um, slightly smaller barn one here. Door at the end. Plenty of room. Nicely detailed. Lots going on. Light switch over to the side. Like so. Not bad at all. And then the one next to it is slightly larger up. I don't know if it's large, long. Hmm, difficult to tell. But we have the side portion here. Then we've got a door that opens on the inside. Like so. And then we've got a light switch inside. Now it does have a hayloft. However, I can't. There's no ladder or steps to get up to it, but there is a hayloft up there. So if you do want to store some stuff up there, you can. Maybe with a telehandler or something along those lines. Or There are there are a couple of modded ladders actually knocking about. that Maybe you could get one and lean up against there to get up to it. But anyway, um, it does have a hayloft as well. Again, really nicely detailed with all the uh, climbing plants and things with it as well. These you will find under placeables, under sheds. There you go, the garage is 27,500, the large garage is 35,750, and like I said earlier, there are 16 slots each. Now the next of the ones I'm going to show you, I thought it was going to be slightly tricky. This is the Decorative Trees by Alien Jim, and of course I'm on No Man's Land, which is Alien Jim's map. Now part of the map update that happened recently added a whole load more placeables in, including these trees. So on this map, there, I've already got these trees, but now they're out as a separate mod. So I thought when I go into the mod tab, into the store, there's going to be loads and loads and loads of options. But luckily, they're right at the start. Now, this comes with a whole array of trees. But note uh, to be taken is that these are placeable trees only. These cannot be cut down. They can be sold back. And it does say um, on the website... Uh, placeable trees for decor, pur or decor purposes only. They can uh, cannot be felled and used for logging. However, you can remove them by selling them back to the store. Um, it does say these placeable trees shouldn't cause any other placeables or sell points to disappear when removed from the map, and they are seasons ready. So we've got one maple, one beech, four... No, there's more than that. Four spruce, five birch, five pine and cali palms. But they're all very nicely detailed, nicely modelled. Like I said, they are just decorative. So, if you know, if you're trying to add a little bit of a, you want to make a little desert island, or you want to, whatever you want to do, it's in direct to you. Uh, these you'll find under placeables, under decoration. Uh, someone did ask me as well the other day about a couple of mods they've been looking for, and they said all about all the AJ Tech stuff. Alien Jim does release mods every now and again, um, from different packs and, and maps he's done. But a lot of these AJ Tech ones that you see when I'm doing my mod reviews are because I'm on No Man's Land, and they are specific to the No Man's Land map. So some of those mods, if you've seen me scrolling across and you wonder where they are, that could be why. They're not in the mod hub, they are specific to No Man's Land. But these aren't. These trees, so we have got, oh yeah, we've got a maple tree, a beech tree, it's the birch ones we've got more. So one maple, one beech. We've got four birch trees, I think. Stage one, two, three, four. Oh no, and five. Then we've got spruce trees. Two, three, four, five. Then we've got pine. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got cali palm. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the decorative tree pack. That cali palm five is massive. But yeah, really nice indeed. So, you yeah, know, that's decorative trees by Alien Jim. Moving on from there, we are going to have a look at. I've looked at this mod first, and the mod behind it. Now this threw me as well, and it could be again because of the map I'm on that, that confused me a little bit. But 
This one hasn't. This is the Flegel ASS 398. This is by Nico Du 55. This is a pushback trailer rather than a tilt lift trailer. Um, 48,000 litres, I think it is. Can be used with a lorry, semi. Um, or if you've got a dolly and you've got it on a tractor or another vehicle, you can absolutely use this trailer. Really nicely detailed. Uh, this you will find under tools, under trailers. There you go, the ASS 398. It will take pretty much everything. We can change the main colour, which changes that front section, the push rod, and the rear section. So we can have it as main colour, the flegal green, or black if you'd rather the black. Then we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Lizards. That's the Lizards. Trelleborg, Standard or Wides. Michelin, Standard or Wides. Those are the options. We're going to have a look at that tipping in just a second. Um, not too expensive either. Was it 60 something thousand for a 48,000 litre capacity? Not too bad at all. Um, but behind what we've got is the Slurry Yard by Missy B. Now again, what threw me a little bit, I think this was included by Jim onto this map too, because I suddenly thought, we've already got this, this came out already, but I think it's because it was on this map. So this is a sell point, we can sell manure, we can sell slurry and digestate, so slurry in, goes in there, and obviously your manure goes in there. Now on FS17, at sell points when you used to sell stuff, the price would plummet. So if you were selling a lot of something, it was that kind of supply and demand thing. If a place was inundated with crops, then the price would fall because they didn't need any more. On 17, it, it still rises and falls, but not when you're unloading. Generally speaking, you can unload a fair bit of stuff before the price starts to come down. It certainly doesn't plummet. Now, it does say on here for the slurry yard, um, it says a slurry yard to sell your unwanted manure, slurry and digestate. Great. Demand is now properly supported as well as price drops. When selling to this station, you can watch the price as it will drop quite fast. Uh, daily upkeep is 10 and the price is 5,000 is seasons ready. I'm just reading from my other screen to my right um, because otherwise I, I can't get it always to come up on the screen exactly what it says in the mod tub. Uh, nicely detailed, we've got a little slurry lagoon just there to the side. Um, now when you buy it, it does put it into your menu. So it says, well it's got lots of S's there. Um, slurry yard and the price is pretty good and now I'm on normal that's 711 for manure 652 for slurry and 750 for digestate bearing in mind digestate is a byproduct so if you place one of these on your map and you've got a load of slurry as a byproduct from selling at the biogas plant that pays out really well for digestate but as we'll, we'll have a look now and see if the price does plummet as quickly as it says it will um, but this you will find under placeables, under miscellaneous. Now, as I said, this is what confused me because these ones here that will say AJ Tech are all part of No Man's Land. That one there, I've had there for quite a while and I thought, I don't remember downloading the slurry yard. Um, but if I keep scrolling, we get to today's mod. So I'm assuming the other one is part of No Man's Land. Regardless, it's the same slurry yard, but there you go, 5,000 to buy. Um, to place, it's only two slots, that says one because I've already placed one, so two slots as well, that's not too bad at all. Uh, actually what I meant to say as well, the trees, the placeable trees, they range in, pr in slots from two to three to four, uh, and it varies, it's kind of miscellaneous across the whole range, but that's not too bad. So what we'll do is we'll use the Flegel ASS, so we can have a look at unloading. We'll unload into the manure point. What we'll do is, I want an unload. So as we're unloading, we'll see what happens when we finish unloading if the price does drop. It might be you need to sell a fair bit of it before the price plummets, but we might need to finish this little deal first. That's not too bad, does it, for manure? Hasn't dropped yet. So yeah, it could be that it just requires him, you know, he might have to dump 70,000 litres or, you know, two dolly loads, like if you've got a load of trailers together. That doesn't, that seems fairly stable. I thought it was going to just suddenly rock it, um, you know, just drop to the floor. No, it seems okay at the moment. So, there we go. That's the Slurry Yard by Missy B and the Flegel 
ASS 398 by Nico Du 55. Moving on from there, we have got a welcome return. Is Merlot. Now I don't know if this is exactly the same model, um, but this is the Merlot P41.7 Turbo Farmer. I think it is. It might have had a few tweaks here and there. Um, there are some changes to this that are obviously to the model. Um, this is by ARM Team. I think he bought us the original one on FS17 as well. Very nice. This has got a 7 metre boom length. A couple of options. I've got two separate ones here. And you'll see in the options, um, one says there's a door option and a window option. And I wasn't quite sure what the difference was. And that's just down to a set control. You can either open the entire door or just the top part of the window, depending which model you go for. But we've also got round the back, and this is really nice as well. There's a whole load of options. You can either have just a trailer set up, which does have a PTO on it as well. You can have a three-point link, which you can have as kind of separate in addition to. You can have a weight package, so you don't have to buy a separate weight if you don't want to. So you can run it with a separate weight, which can be adjusted to get heavier and heavier, so you can adjust the configuration. Or if you've got a three-point link, you can obviously just buy a weight and hook a weight on the back if you wanted to do that. But I think having a three-point link on the back of your telehandler is quite handy. I know a lot of the telehandlers do have a rear hitch, and with the... Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. The mod with the three-point link. The crated three-point link, and I've, mine's gone blank, what it's actually called, which you can hook up to a lot of mod models and vehicles that have a trailer hitch. Um, but that's nice to have that as an option automatically kind of included really um, this you will find under vehicles under telehandlers that's telehandlers um, it does have a slight downside I'll be honest if you look at the slot counts for telehandlers even the the class 116 the, the turbo farmer it says two there but for the first one it cost me 32 slots I think it's one of the higher ones uh, the new Holland one there is 24, yeah, so 32 slots. But like I say, there are quite a few options available on this. So, if we click on Customize, we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette, like so. But up at the top we do have the P417 Silver, P417 Black, White, and then we kind of move on. Uh, but like I say, anything, if you want to pick off that like so. Uh, the main colour we've got all these different options but I do like the P417 Old Green it's, it's only because it's a bit kind of Mr Silly P Green I kind of like that. Um, we've got a black, there's an orange white and then we go on to the rest of the colour palette but again you can pick anything so you can kind of mix and match it and make it your own however you want your uh, your Merlot to look. Obviously the green is more the standard kind of Merlot colour but that's entirely your choice. Now this, unfortunately, again, we've got a bit of a menu thing going on. You have to kind of go down a bit before you can come back up again. But anyway, configuration. We can have standard with a trailer hitch, like so, which does have a PTO on it. So a trailer hitch with a PTO. Uh, but again, you've got to come down the menu, back up, and that's that. So you think, okay, well, that's standard, which does have a trailer hitch. No, go back. Or you can have it like that with an added sort of trailer hitch section on it which has got a ball hitch down the bottom as well. So, we'll then go on to tyres. We've got to tell the bit in a minute. We're going to have Trelleborg, or you can have Nokian. And there are no options on those. It's just those two, Trelleborg and Nokian, standard and communal, like so. But then we can have clean windows. You can have clean windows and a safety grill. You can have tinted windows, tinted windows and a safety grill, or back to clean windows again. And then design, we've got standard, and then 300 kilogram back weight. And what I love is when you watch it, it will drop as it goes up. 600, 900, 1200, 1500, or a three point link. But that's pretty cool. So if you have got a big load up front, you don't necessarily have to buy a separate weight. You could still be running something on the back, but have weights included. It, you know, it's just a nice option to have. I like that. And then a three point link, which does make it very versatile. And I like that as an option too. Then door mode. And this is what I wasn't sure about. We can have window mode or door mode. Um, with door mode, when you press the button, the whole door opens. With window mode, just the window opens. So that would be your choice entirely. Let's jump in. Horn. Lights. There well, are lights on the boom as well. So if we lift it and extend the boom, you can see the lights moving.
nice long boom. Well, that was something I meant to check on one of the other telehandlers. Because I think it's specific to this one, but again it could be I couldn't be I could be misremembering. We do have a beacon. And like I say, if I do L1 and X, that opens the entire door. So that one's got door mode. If I jump out quickly and jump in that one, L1 and X, a little bit. That one is the one that's just got window mode, so it depends which option you want to go for with that. And this is to do with the actual thing I was just talking about. It's to do with steering. If I open the help menu and do R1, toggle steering mode. So we've got all wheel steering, front wheel steering, which is not unusual. You can change it to front wheel steering, but this one you can have um, back wheel steering as well. I'm just thinking, do the other, do the other telehandlers have that? Was that specific to this Merlot? Oh, my mind's gone blank. I don't think it's on any other options. Because when you go through the rest of the options, we've got our crab steering left, crab steering right, back to all wheel steering again. Um, but I'm pretty sure that back wheel steering is specific to this. Answers on a postcard. Actually, I'm just going to check to my right. On the, I'm pretty sure. Rear weights, wheels configuration. Oh yeah, up to seven meter lift height with rear pivot axle. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Uh, I don't know. Like I say, been wrong before. I am fallible. But there you go. That's nice. That nice few options. Nice mod. Not bad. In cab. Stick moving the way it should. Yeah, right over there, so you can see the rear hit, re the rear hitch. I know a few of them have it. I'm just pointing out the uh, the options that are available on it. But there you go. Nice visibility. Not too bad. So there you go. That's the Merlot P41.7 Turbo Farmer by ARM Team. Which brings me on to this. This is cool. Um, it's just another one of those funky little things. This is the OBE Ape. Um, in the real world, it's the Piaggio. And it's, it's not Ape, it's Arpe. Um, it's the Piaggio Arpe. Um, it's Italian. Arpe means B. As you can probably tell from the front. These have been made in Italy for years and years and years. And they're used all over the place. I think they have something like a 750, 800 kilogram load capacity in the back. Incredibly useful, especially down like tight little lanes and countryside and in towns and through the small you know, streets and that kind of thing. Low horsepower, very good on the fuel economy, that kind of thing. They're just a, a brilliant little thing. But anyway, this is by Black Eyes Modding. Um, this will use three slots. It's just, it's just a quirky little thing. And the load bed has got tension straps, as you can see. Um, the load bed does open. You can put a pallet on it, or pallets, or logs in the back, or um, you know, egg boxes. Actually, it might be quite cool for a chicken farm, wouldn't it? Just throw your egg boxes in the back of that and off your trundle to go and sell them. It's not too expensive either. Very cool. Um, this you'll find under vehicles, under cars, I think it was as well. Yeah, it was. There you go. 5,700. It's a whopping 8 horsepower. Um, it will go at 27 miles an hour, though, which is pretty cool. And like I say, only three slots, which is amazing. Um, I mean, it's fairly basic, so I suppose there's not a huge amount going on, but three slots is still good. We can change the main colour uh, to green, blue, red, black, or white. And then the design colour is the seat or the bench seat inside. So if I change that, say, to blue, you'll see inside it changes red, black, white. White and white might be a bit much, especially on a farm. Um, we'll change the main colour, I think. Let's go to red say um, and then you can have it with or without beacon I thought the beacon looked a little bit huge on the top there but just just my own person I just thought the whole aesthetic of that lovely looking you know and then you've got this huge beacon on the top but if you want a beacon to be seen there's a beacon option available so yeah not too expensive good on the slot count let's hop in 
You can see inside there the handlebars. This is very cool. Now, horn. Lights. Very nice indeed. L1 and X opens the load bed like so. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What's even better is inside the view. Look at that. It's like wearing a pair of goggles. It's just like looking out for a pair of goggles. I think if it went a lot slower, it might kind of hold it back a little bit. You might think, oh, I'm not going to bother. But 27 miles an hour, that's pretty good. I must admit, I would be worried about rolling it over. Um, but this also has opening doors. Make sure I get it right. Uh, L1 and R1 together. Right stick side to side opens and closes the right door. Right stick up and down, open and closes the left door. So you've got a little... That looks weird. Looks like it's got ears. But that is it's brilliant. Really, really nice. Just a nice, quirky little thing to have and to be able to use. I'm sure people will find uses for them, depending on the map you're on. But that's brilliant. Really cool. There you go. So that's the OBE 8 Arpe, sorry, by Black Eyes Modding. Very nice indeed, which brings me to the last of the mods for today. I've got three of them again, because I wasn't sure of, of the spread widths again with this, but this is the Stara Hercules 10,000 by Farm Centro Sul and Rafazer. Rafazer? That looks wicked. That's really nice. I like the look of that. Look at the detail on that. Now this is another one of those ones we've had recently, the South American ones. This will do manure, solid fertiliser and lime. So obviously the spread, width, the spread widths are likely to be different. But like I say, the detail is really great. This does have a steering axle as well, which helps it to turn. But yeah, there's a lot of detail on that. load of detail. And realistically, you'd think with that much detail of what we've been getting recently, it'd be quite high on the slot count. It's only eight. So for all that detail going on, only eight slots. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this you will find under tools, under fertiliser technology. There you go. 13,554 to buy. Like I say, only eight slots. Requires 125 horsepower, so not too bad. Now it says 24 metre spread on that. So what we're going to do now, and this is the first time me checking it, I haven't checked it yet, to see whether or not it will do 24 metres on all three. Usually, lime is less. Uh, manure is probably going to be less as well, but that's what we're going to have a look at. So, I always think it's better to have a visual look at it. I, might, I could have just said, yep, yeah, the manure is less and the lime is less than the fertiliser, but... I think just have a visual kind of... Right, so that's our... Is that 24 metres? Yeah, it's about 24 metres, isn't it? <laughs> like I'm... <laughs> yeah, well, just that looks roughly 24 metres. I don't know, it says it's 24 metres. Sometimes you get a little bit of variance, don't you, on the spread on some of these. So what we'll do now, I think the best thing to do is if we run over the... Uh, same, this one's got lime in it. And it won't lime directly over, will it? But there we go. That's, oh, there. That's 24 metres. That's definitely 24 metres. That's liming out just as wide as the other one did. Wow, OK. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so then... We've got the manure. Let's see if the manure spreads out to 24 as well. Wow. I, I'm really surprised by the lime. That's pretty cool. Again, another good reason to check it. That looks the same. I do like the powder, the kind of the dust effect. Yeah, that's 24 as well. That's pretty good for manure as well, isn't it? Eight slots, 13 and a bit grand. 
I mean, that's going to get through your manure pretty quickly, but nice animation on that as well. Like I say, I do like the dust. It was the same with the lime as well. Um, I think we had another one the other day from Farm Centro Saw, and I didn't mention the dust. And when I came to edit it, I thought, oh, I didn't mention that, but that's brilliant. So, there you go. That's the Star of Hercules, 10,000, uh, by Farm Centro Saw Rafazza. Um, it's a nice looking model. Ah, now, a few people did say with one of the previous ones of these that it won't unload. If you've got lime and fertiliser in it, it won't unload. Which means moving it from things... That, as you can see, when I turn as well, the steering, I meant to point that out. The rear steer on that. So what I'll do is disconnect from that. Let's see if I can unload the lime, because that could be... Um, like I say, that could be for a lot of people. That's going to really put people off. But, I mean, it might not do. It says unload. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we'll unload the lime. That's good. Um, we'll just check the third size one to make sure it does two. And my work here will be complete for another week. It does. There we go. And with that, we have come to the end of the mod review and another week. Hope you will have a lovely weekend. Uh, we'll have more of the same next week, I hope. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.